everyone. Welcome to the fourth Sunday of Easter. My name is Miss Donna and I will be leading our liturgy today. A shepherd has kind of a lonely job. He has to find food for his sheep and care for them, even sometimes protect them from wild animals. Today, we hear about how Jesus calls himself the Good Shepherd. Let us begin our liturgy in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Almighty God, lead us to share in the joys of heaven so that we, your flock, may reach the place where the Good Shepherd has gone before us. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter was filled with the Holy Spirit and told the nation's leaders and elders, You are questioning us today about a kind of deed in which a crippled man was healed. But there is something we must tell you and everyone else in Israel. This man is standing here completely well because of the power of Jesus Christ from Nazareth. You put Jesus to death on a cross, but God raised him to life. He is the stone that you builders thought was worthless, and now he is the most important stone of all. Only Jesus has the power to save. His name is the only one in all the world that can save anyone. The Word of the Lord. A reading from the Gospel of John. I am the Good Shepherd who is willing to die for the sheep. When the hired man, who is not a shepherd and does not own the sheep, sees a wolf coming, he leaves the sheep and runs away. So the wolf snatches the sheep and scatters them. The hired man runs away because he is only a hired man and does not care about the sheep. I am the Good Shepherd. As the Father knows me, and I know the Father, in the same way I know my sheep, and they know me, and I am willing to die for them. There are other sheep which belong to me that are not in this sheep pen. I must bring them too. They will listen to my voice, and they will become one flock with one shepherd. 
The Gospel of the Lord. So I know that all of you know what a shepherd is. You've probably seen pictures or movies of this shepherd with his staff and that cute little sheep with the little bells climbing up the hill, or maybe they're up in the pasture, all the grass, and the, the uh, sheep are just munching away, and the shepherd is sitting there relaxing, maybe playing his flute. And uh, those images are true, but they're kind of a cleaned up true. A real working shepherd would be going up some pretty tough mountain roads to take the sheep up to where the grass was. And he might have to prod a couple of them along, the ones that don't want to go. It can be hot, it might be raining. Once he gets up there, he's going to be alone for the whole summer, all by himself, and he's in charge of all these sheep. The shepherds are responsible for every part of taking care of the sheep. They have to find them food, they have to find them water, they have to protect them from wolves or from thieves. Sometimes a sheep might fall down and get hurt or even lost. Now, in today's gospel, we heard about a hired shepherd, somebody who is watching the sheep and getting paid for it. So when the wolves come and the going gets tough, that shepherd doesn't really care. He's gonna take care of himself first and leave the sheep, you know, to be. But a good shepherd would not do that. A good shepherd would go and find his sheep, would go and take care of his sheep, would chase off the wolves or the thieves. And a good shepherd knows every single one of his sheep. He knows them by name. And you know what? The sheep know the good shepherd too. They know his voice. So they follow him and they listen to him and they trust him. So today we hear that Jesus is the Good Shepherd, the Good Shepherd who takes care of us in the same way, who knows each of us by name, who protects us, who walks with us, and who helps us in all that we might need. Now, most importantly, he loves us and he walks with us and he would do anything for us even lay down his life and we saw that good friday that jesus did exactly that for his sheep for us and just like the sheep know their shepherd's voice we need to know his voice but how do we do that how do we know jesus's voice well we can start by being very quiet and listening listening for it in our heart. We could hear Jesus's voice in the scriptures, open up the Bible and, and read a story. What is he telling us? And of course, we can hear the voice of Jesus when we go to mass and when we receive the Eucharist. All these things are ways that we can come to know Jesus's voice. So today being Good Shepherd Sunday, I'm gonna send you forth with a mission a mission to take a few minutes today, any time today, and find a place where you can be quiet and still and listen in your heart for the voice of the Good Shepherd. And that way, you'll know what voice to follow and you'll never have to worry about following the wrong shepherd. Blessings to all of you. Together, let us make our profession of faith. We believe in God, the Father, who made the whole world. We believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who was born in Bethlehem and lived among us, who died on the cross for us and rose from the dead. We believe in the Holy Spirit, who brings life and love to us all. We believe that the church is one family and that one day we will share everlasting life with God in heaven. Amen. Knowing that we are loved and sustained by Jesus, the Good Shepherd, let us entrust all of our needs to his gracious care. For the church, shelter for the homeless and hope for the powerless. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
For those who are hungry and not fed, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those with power over others' lives, that they will be loving and show that they care, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are left out of things we do and those who have no friends, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of refuge, by the wounds of Jesus, we have been healed. Hear our prayers that we may cling to the example of Christ and find the strength to meet hate with love and violence with peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. That's it for this week. This week, I want you to remember what Miss Patty said in her reflection. Listen for the shepherd's voice and follow him. Bye.